Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your November tarot scopes, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs because we need them about now, right? We are almost into 2021. Are you ready, big baby? So if you're not interested in all of this astrology stuff, you can go ahead and fast forward all the way to your read, okay? No problem. But if you're ready for some fun, big baby, let's talk about what's going on upstairs. So on the 3rd, all right, are we ready? November 3rd, big, big day here in the United States. It's election day. Let's talk about what happened in the 2000 election when Mercury was retrograde also and went direct. We had a whole recount. So I'm just going to tell you, buckle up, buttercup, because Mercury is going direct 25 degrees Libra and they're going to make sure things are in the up and up. OK, on the 10th, Mercury moves into Scorpio. Communication might get a little bit rough. All right. With that being said, I'm just going to say there's going to be a lot of revelations coming through. On the 12th, mark this on your calendars. I've been talking about this since January. This is the third and final meeting of Jupiter and Pluto in the, sky, in the sign of Capricorn at 22 degrees. What does 22 signify? Four. Okay, 22 is the master builder number. We are master, masterly building our foundation, okay, with Capricorn rules. We are about to change the way things are done. During this time, there might be more talk about Corona, more talk about the, the election. It's going to be intense, all right? And I'm not trying to scare you. Intense doesn't have to be bad. I've had some good intense moments. <laughs> Anyways, 13th, Mars goes direct. 15 degrees, Aries. Let's talk about 15, one individual. Five is change, baby. We're ready to change our identity. We're ready to move forward. Aries rules the head, our identity, the way we're seen in the world. That's going to be coming to a, to a head. On the 15th, new moon, 23 degrees Scorpio. Again, with the 23, comes down to that five. Lots of change, lots of chaos. Lots of things going to be highlighted with that new moon. Scorpio is going to be revealing the truth. All right, thank you, Scorpio. We've been waiting a long time. We need this truth to come out. Now, the sun enters into Sag on the 21st. Happy birthday, Sagittarius, okay? And on the 28th, Neptune goes direct, 18 degrees Pisces. Now, this is really important because Neptune, Neptune is a little bit about deception, right? It's like, oh, rose colored glasses, those kinds of things. But now that it's going direct with the number 18, let's look at that one individuality, you know, creating a new way. And that eight is communication, right? Communication and travel comes down to a nine. There's a completion. There's something coming to an end. Truth, truth, this is will be revealed. OK, <laughs> and on the 30th, full moon. Prenumeral lunar eclipse, okay? This is going to happen eight degrees Gemini. Now, with that eight degrees of Gemini, we're going back into communication. We are really trying to get infinite possibilities on the table. Full month of adventures coming through, all right? Now, these reads might be coming out slowly, okay? Give me some time. I've been extra busy and just trying to, like, navigate these energies just like you. Now, with that being said, I'm going to be doing some new things in the reads. I'm also waiting for some new cards, so we'll see if they get in the mail soon. They should be here tomorrow, so depending on how far I get today, some of you will get to see the Santa Muerte Oracle card deck, all right? Now, you know I like to pick energy. Deep breath in. What's it going to be? This is from the Sacred Power Oracle deck. One or two. So if you pick card number one, you have that of lightning. This is the glorious Isis coming in with that full moon eclipse. Things are changing. This is the number 18 in this deck. That means things are coming to an end because it comes to a nine. OK, there's a completion. You are not as loyal to relationships or people that you were in the past. You are busting up. You are meeting new people. You are getting yourself out there, whether it is online or in person. You are ready to create something something new and you have this energy of support coming in behind you. Now, if you chose card number two, you have that of sacred wisdom. This is such a beautiful card. Comes down to the number 28, which comes down to a 10, which comes down to that one. You are starting over and your information is coming in the cycles of the moon and also in your dreams. So with this being said, be sure to keep a dream journal this month. Write that stuff down, okay? Because the veil has been pretty thin. Today is November 1st. So with that being said, happy Dia de los Muertos. Honor your ancestors. Have a moment, even if it's just a little candlelight with a glass of water honor them and thank them for all that they have done and if you're interested to see how i'm celebrating it this year you can head over to the article down in the description box 
box, I was lucky to be um, featured in a little article about Dia de los Muertos and go check it out. I'm super proud of it. Now, with that being said, have a beautiful month. Be patient with me, guys. I'm going through it just like you. I love you guys dearly and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, hello, Aries. Are you ready for your read, big baby? So with this being said, the lineup is gonna go with the power animal, the theme with the mind, body, and the soul, and then we're gonna jump into tarot. We got a lot of adventures with tarot. We're gonna look at regular life, love life, health, and even some messages from the ancestors. So with that being said, let's jump into this. You have horse energy coming in. Dun, da, da, da. I always think bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da, bum, 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 ba, da, bum, 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 <laughs> Anyways, I hope silver away, big baby. This is you going towards change, moving in a whole new direction. You have to just understand what the horse symbolizes for, for us is huge changes in motivation, movement, travel, communication, daily lifestyle. There's a lot coming in here. There's also something about you being very, very fertile, very virile, maybe in the mood a lot right now. With Mars going direct, you might be wanting to, to get a couple pumps in, all right? <laughs> and you might get your love and feeling back. Now, with this energy coming in, this is very beautiful. This is like taking the opportunities that come your way, okay? Now, a lot of times when we think about opportunities, we think, oh, it should just fall right in our hands. No, because your theme this month is making necessary sacrifices. What are you going to sacrifice for the changes that you long and desire for? What are you going to do there for that? Okay, so mentally you're thinking about what do I need to change in my everyday life? How to move forward? How am I going to go with the flow and do things differently? And then we have the beautiful energy of Turkey coming in. And I have quite a few stories here. So when the turkey comes in, and I'm using the Nahuali deck, okay? The Nahuali deck calls the turkey a gift and a blessing. He's known as the jewel bird because of the shedding of the blood that he gives for us to eat him for Thanksgiving. Now, here's a little story. I haven't shared this one before. Um, there's evidence that turkey's gobbling cycles are in tune with the lunar cycle. Since gobbling is a function of attracting their mate, it's not surprising that the moon, often a fertility symbol, is involved in their behavior. The tom turkeys gobble and strut to attract the hens. And once mating occurs, then the hens find a secret place to lay her eggs. And about a month later, the eggs hatch. About every six months, the young birds get old enough to leave their mother and enter the flock. So they go with the cycles of the moon. Oh, this is you going through symbolics of changes. You know, you might start out as the new moon, the waning moon, you're getting bigger, you're getting bigger, you're getting bigger, you're getting bigger, and then bam, it's the full moon, things come to accumulation. Now, when the turkey wobbles up in here, okay, a wobble, wobble, this is a good omen for you. Turkey is simply wanting to bestow you with gifts this month. They want to give back because of all the sacrifices you've made for others. They want to come and help you. You might find a lost pet. You might have someone say, let me watch the kids. This is definitely your spirit guide stepping in or someone from the other side that is wanting to give you a gift, all right? Now, when I was pulling these cards, my father's in Aries, um, and as y'all know, this is our first holiday season without my mom, and she's the one who cooks everything. So as I'm looking at this, I'm just thinking, like, what gift is my mom going to give us this year, you know? What is her gift this year to us? Um, this is a very hard time for us right now, so keep us all in your prayers. Now, when I look at this new card from the Santa Muerte deck, um, wow, this is such a beautiful card, and this is the number 19, so I do feel like Aries, there's a new beginning, but you see how he's cleaning his head? He is cleaning his mind. He's doing the necessary changes that need to come through. Now, this is number 19, and the, the name of this card is memory. Now, memory is necessary. We have to remember things. You have things as muscle memory, things of that nature. Memories are good. Memories are stories that we tell ourselves, but sometimes we need to get rid of the ones that are harmful for us. The ones that turn into this little voice in our head that tells us we're not good enough. Those are the ones that are going to need to be cleared and cleansed. Take advantage of the whole collective memory, experiences that other people have had, and apply those things to you too. But this is also about kind of shedding the old, getting rid of the old, a sacrifice, okay? Getting rid of those memories so that you can make changes 
changes and you can hold on to the good memories. This doesn't have to be like, I'm going to get rid of everything, but this is a way in a sense of saying, hey, what needs to be changed? Is it the way that I'm viewing the situation? What is it? Okay. Now the Santa Muerte deck is super, super cool. I did an IG live on unboxing it. These cards are beautiful. I absolutely love it. I think it adds a whole nother layer to these readings. And I love that even in this deck, they have um, cards that represent the Aztec gods. So that's why I pulled out the Nahul Ali. I absolutely love when cards match like that. Now, there is family issues at hand with the Ten of Cups, with the Five of Cups reversed. I feel like your vision of the perfect family or your vision of the perfect relationship or life is just not coming to it. There's like some loss that you're going through, Aries. Maybe you thought you were going to have this great family day and because of COVID, it's not going to happen. Whatever it is, be creative in these moments. You can still be together. Um, I know it's not the same. You know, I'm going through something also and it's not the same. And everyone's like, oh, but she's with you. Your mother's with you. Yeah, I know she's with me. <laughs> But I want to have her with me, with me, you know, so I get it. And it's even harder when somebody's alive and you can't be near them, right? That's extremely hard. So with that, let's jump into your read. The overall theme for you is to make the necessary sacrifices to be able to accept the gifts and clear your mind of negative thoughts and ideas that are trying to invade. For example, taking over the beauty of this gift. Okay. Let's see what we got, Aris. Oh, spirit guide. He said, oh, why aren't you listening? You want to go back to the good old days. A lot of Pisces energy there. Okay, let's see. All right, overall, you got to have strength this month, okay? Lots and lots of strength. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck here. Let's see, I'm going to stop right here. So I have Genesis. Overall, this trumps the whole read. This is the trump card in the deck, meaning significant to in the beginning, Aries decided to what? What is Aries going to do this month? What does Aries desire? How are they moving forward? There is definitely an intense decision. Justice will be served. The decision will be made. There will be a new foundation, but it's not moving as fast as you would like it to move. Okay, you almost feel like there's no celebration and you might be giving too much or taking too much. All right, so pay attention to that. Remember, these readings can go both ways. Now, did I move this or something? Oh, there. Okay, I thought I moved it. There we go. I'm trying to get it so it's not like it's close, but not too close. So I will be clarifying with the Santa Muerte deck. However, we have a spirit guide coming through. The spirit guide is reversed. I kind of feel like you've been trying. People have been trying to help you. OK, and you're just refusing the help. I got it. I don't need it. I'm good. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. And you're even running away from it. You're like, no, I got it. You know, I'm great. Everything's good. I'm complete. Everything's good. But there is a major decision to be making. OK. There is a major, there needs to be peace. Peace with something that you don't like the way it's going to end. But you're going to have the strength and support. I do feel some of y'all are worried about your home life, okay? Because I, I'm just feeling that. Now, let's see what this spirit guy is trying. Whoa, Lord. Lord Jesus, help us. We had all these cards fall out. The third card, let's see, upright, the Ten of Swords. So we're not really looking forward to this month. We're coming into it like a little heavy. There might have been miscommunication with somebody. Things aren't moving in the direction that you like. But the beauty about the Ten is that it's simply that. It's an ending so that there's a new beginning and we're moving forward, okay? Now, this Eight of Cups is wanting to go back to something. The Double Ten, some of y'all want to go back to work. Some of y'all are trying to think about man how can I start working differently I really want to sign this contract that's what that double 10 signifies for me some of y'all can't wait to leave one job and go to another oh my gosh that was the weirdest light I've seen in my life come through my house oh, that scared the mess out of me I don't even know if y'all saw that Oh my goodness, that made me nervous. Okay, now, the Eight of Cups coming in. I don't know if it was because of my crystal there. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that was like intense for me. The Eight of Cups, let's see what the Eight of Cups has. Eight of Cups for my beautiful Aries. 
What does the Eight of Cups have? We have the King of Cups, so it's upright. I'm gonna say Aries. If you like to drink over the holidays, be very aware of how much you're consuming, okay? You're also viewed as Big Papa, okay? I love it when you call me Big Papa, all right? You're, people love to be around you, you're fun, you're a go-getter. Don't overindulge this month in alcohol or anything like that. Be aware of what you're drinking. You might get stuck in your feelings because at the bottom of the deck, I have the five of cups and if this isn't you Aries you might be dealing with somebody who gets like this over the holidays okay I know last year I did a series of um, you know traumas and things like that and I think I might do another holiday read on like how to handle the holidays how to calm our stress during the holidays I really like readings like that they help me also now the ten of Pentacles is coming through so I feel like you're kind of wanting to celebrate all together bringing the family together and I have the page of Pentacles coming out so this is Capricorn Taurus or Virgo I also feel like it's somebody who is Ah, oh, should this be upright? It's a yes. I want to say sometimes they take more than what they should, you know, because they're at the Ten of Pentacles and then she's sticking that pentacle in. And it's like, why, why is that happening? So be aware that nobody's taking more than what they should, okay? Because it needs to be fair. It needs to be a fair situation and we need to trust our intuition as we move forward. You might be weighing your options of like, should I go here? Should I go there? What's my next step and how do I move forward? With the owl on top of her head, this is wisdom and discernment. Some of y'all are thinking, who do I pick to marry? Just because that always makes me think of a wedding dress. But in this situation, I'm going to say be of sober mind, okay? Be of sober mind. Pay attention to where the money is going. Now, two of swords. Two of Swords is saying there's a possible connection, a contract. We're making peace. We're coming together, but we're also making a decision, and we're going to talk about it. We're definitely talking about it. For some of y'all, I'm going to say there is a possibility to meet somebody and jump into bed really quickly. I know you're like, this doesn't even make sense because random messages come in. Take what fits for you and leave the rest for others. Some of y'all are going to be signing a contract for a new job, a new home, something of that nature really fast. Okay, now with the universe being reversed, there's an ending that you don't really like. Okay, you're like, mm, I don't really like the way that happened. Maybe you, you're not going to stay with this person, something of that nature. But you're deciding to move forward. Yeah, for some of y'all, the relationship that you jumped into really quickly may be coming to an end or you feel like you made a bad decision because the lovers is reversed here. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. The world reversed again, okay? So I don't feel like some of y'all are going to like the way something happens. So move and proceed slowly okay don't jump into anything really really fast another thing about the horse energy is that when the horse shows up the horse is very intuitive you know they won't go if it ain't safe so you need to trust your intuition somebody might be asking you for money they might be asking you to do something and and like trying to wine and dine you I was gonna say something else wine dine and 69 <laughs> whatever you know they're trying to wine and dine you to get their way and then once they get it they're out the door and so it's going to be important for you to have strength during this month you're going to make the, the the sacrifices needed you're going to accept the gift that they offer but it doesn't mean that you have to stick around because when somebody gives you a gift they can't take it back after they give it to you okay very interesting energy here the world reversed with the lovers also for me is very significant to like maybe you're missing somebody during this month. Okay, missing somebody, you're missing somebody, you want to heal from that because the four swords came out. A lot of strength and support. A Leo might come through and just really help and support you, making sure that you're healing and taking care of yourself. But I do feel like if there is a situation this month, um, Aries, be aware of who you're drinking with and what's going on. And I know that sounds weird, but there's possibly a court situation that could possibly happen also so just pay attention okay because somebody is taking more than what they should all right so let's look at love because i know y'all want to look at love very interesting read some of y'all are moving on to a new job okay probably wondering why the hell you didn't go quicker <laughs> all right let's see here for my singles what's up with my singles 
the Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. But I have the Emperor here. This is you right here being very strategic. I feel like some singles are trying to have this happy family vibe. Like they really want this vibe, right? Oh, we're perfect family. I'm going to have a perfect family. It's going to be great. That Ten of Pentacles is coming out twice for you. So there's probably a situation with finances among the family. I'm going to say hold on to your finances, Aries. If you find yourself in a relationship where somebody is taking more than what they should, and this could be any kind of relationship friendship family love um just hold your money tight okay be that barrel full of joy el barril i'm gonna say like stock up on your coins okay because somebody wants something from you there's also a trip coming in here watch your money when you travel okay with that 10 and that nine right next to each other so there's a family situation you could meet somebody there and then you're like having a time of your life enjoying yourself and then here comes somebody like hey you got you got five hundred dollars you're like the fuck like five hundred can we start with five dollars okay and you're like what and you know before you know it it turns into a situation where you need to really conserve your energy and your money okay for my couples oh lord a lot comes out for couples let's see here couples no Yes and yes. Okay, so you have the Knight of Wands and the Empress. So this is possibly, you know, wanting to have a baby, proceed forward. You're thinking about the mother energy, the divine mother, celebrating the mother. This is also a birthing a new part of the relationship. Now, there, when I see an ending, there is an ending in a partnership. The partnership does not necessarily have to be your relationship. It could be the partnership with work. It might be like, dude, you, you kick the trash can on your way out or something, or they don't give you your whole pension because you're not going to like the way it ends. Not everything is about love. This portion I'm doing right now is about love, but I'm, I don't want you to think because this came out and you're in a relationship, it's ending, okay? This could be about work. Now, in your relationship, there's a lot of like celebration. Look at the black horse again, lots of fertility, and then the empress. So I do feel like if you're in a relationship, talks about children could be coming up. You're th I think some of y'all really want to get that baby mama or get that wifey. You're feeling cocky. You're feeling frisky. Baby, Aries is ready to play. They is not coming to just, you know, prance around. Even the turkey was like gobble, gobble, grrr, okay? So I feel like that's on your mind, okay? A good time is on your mind Aries and it's on everybody's mind so let's go ahead and close up this read my beautiful beautiful Audis and your message this month from the ancestors is the rattle shake rattle and roll you have spread yourself too thin it's time to shake things up create a sacred space direct energy and prayers and intention the rattle that sound I created my own rattle to clear energies when I'm doing um, candle work and stuff because I don't want any negative energies coming through. And sometimes I get those corners with the rattle because you know what, baby? These things be lurking. Don't allow your emotions to run the show. Your past hurts are affecting, uh, affecting, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Affecting the way you come across to others. Don't settle for second best. Affecting might be a new word I use. You're affecting me. <laughs> Anyways, don't say that it's a bad word, okay? <laughs> Do not mistake kindness for a weakness, and you're easily influenced right now. So be sure to shake off any lower energies. Get out there. Get moving. That's another message that's coming for you with the dance card. Get moving. Get up. When you feel yourself having stagnant energy or, or what's called as a lower energy, which could be guilt, shame, depression, those kinds of things, get up, get moving, get out there. You might see some white feathers more often because that is your ancestors, your guides, or someone from the other side leaving you a message. Now, your other message coming in from the ancestors is the he Hekoya or Hayoka. I'm probably saying it all wrong. Please don't be mad at me. But this is the sacred clown energy, okay? And this is like situations are a little bit tricky right now. It might appear one way. That's why I'm saying don't lend any money to anyone, okay? But they teach you about laughter and opposites. It's time to shake, rattle, and roll. You got to have a good time, Aries. Get back to having fun, to laughing. You may be doing exactly the opposite of what you need to be doing and that's why the sacred clown is coming in he's saying don't be so serious have a smile lighten up and start dancing have fun enjoy yourself okay now your crystal is agate and agate is something about self-acceptance and it works to balance your body and emotions it also brings equilibrium 
And in health, it works with your lymphatic and circulation and your abdominals, okay? This crystal indicates a need to quietly contemplate your purpose. Are you steadily working in the direction you need to, or are you just blindly moving forward? Now, your health card comes from the hangman. The hangman is a very interesting energy because it rules drugs of all kinds, addictions, over medication, lack of sleep, drug poisoning, sleep disorder, hypnosis, memory issues, okay? And we have that, the memory card also. So this is like a lot of mental stuff going on. You might be deep in your head. No, I'm not diagnosing you. I'm just saying on a health level, be very careful with, with drinking this month, okay? Or anything that's trying to get you through the holidays or over medication, okay? Now, grape um, and ivy and marigold are the herbs tied to this I'm going to talk about grapes because I think grapes are super super cool they clean your digestive system and in magic they bring in prosperity and abundance okay the crystals tied to the hangman are aquamarine and tiger's eye so those are things that are going to protect you from those ailments now with that being said that is your read Aries big big hugs lots and lots of love y'all already know it and if you're interested in a read hit me up at ariana luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at Ariana Luciano. Be blessed, fam.